If you've never been to Bon Secours Wellness Arena in Greenville, you're in for a treat. This is where the city's professional hockey team, the Greenville Swamp Rabbits, play. It's also where most of the big concerts are held, when you need a place that seats 15,000 people. I now declare you 2019 graduates of Riverside High School. And it's where Greenville County Schools has held graduation ceremonies for seniors like you for the past 13 years. Though, make no mistake, your graduation won't look anything like this. Maybe, especially if we get past this, this will be the only graduation in our lifetime that is like the one that they're going to be in. Let me get two logistical things out of the way. Assistant Superintendent Scott Reimer is one of the organizers of the first ever graduation in which seniors are socially distanced to protect against COVID-19. It's one of a kind, and they will be able to tell their children and their grandchildren about what they were going through in the spring of their senior year and, and into graduation. But how will the class of 2020 explain to their grandchildren how several hundred people managed to stay six feet apart? We'll come back to that in just a minute. But first, parking. There are limited reserved parking spaces for students in the VIP parking lot. And schools will distribute those to you when you get your tickets. Some students and their guests will have to park off-site in a city parking garage or a private lot. For those spaces, it's first come, first serve. Your two guests will be asked to enter the arena based on where their seating assignments are and we have a flyer included with the tickets that explains those specific gates. Graduates should enter through the loading dock on the back side of the arena nearest North Academy Street. The good news is once you get here, there will be no guessing where to go. If they can get to the one singular spot there at the tunnel, at the back of Bon Secours, from that point forward, all of the direction that they will need will come from the teachers and the adults inside the arena on not only where to sit, but when to get up, where to go, when you get up to move to the stage, it'll be very choreographed to where they won't have to worry about that once they get inside the arena. The social distancing we mentioned earlier, you're going to experience it as soon as you walk in. A student seating on the, on the floor at six feet apart, those are the purple. According to Reimer, the entire floor will be filled with graduates seated six feet apart. And because that limits the number of chairs, many other graduates will sit in the surrounding sections. Each graduate and their guests will be required to wear face masks when moving inside the arena up until that magical moment. Once they get to the stage and it's almost their time to walk across the stage, they'll be able to remove their masks so that the pictures they take as they get their diploma across the stage will show their face. Students obviously could choose to leave it on if they want to. Once the graduation ceremony is over, the class of 2020 will exit the arena first, followed by their guests one section at a time. But unlike past years, there will be no gathering outside the arena. Graduates and guests should go straight to their cars. In the past, at most graduations, families would hang around right outside of the venue, take pictures, uh, enjoy the moment with their graduate. We're going to ask that that is done off-site. Discuss with your loved ones prior to graduation day where you'll meet off-site so you can as quickly as possible get those cherished photos in your graduation gown with your loved ones and your high school diploma in hand. Remember, despite this pandemic with its social distancing and limited guest tickets, your graduation will still include the most memorable parts. Seeing your friends and classmates, your teachers, and walking the stage to receive the diploma that you worked so hard to obtain. Congratulations, Class of 2020. This is your moment.